Thomas van. This is a funny looking Uber. What? Welcome to Calpe. So today has been absolute chaos. I managed to book my flight on completely the wrong day. I booked it for a month ahead instead of today. So I ended up having to rebook it last night. We were massively rushed and the only ticket that was left was business class. So I ended up flying business class today. I've never flown business class before. Um, Matteo wasn't allowed to come and sit with me, but then he did anyway and they didn't seem to care. What's the moral of today's video? If you don't have a ticket, don't worry. Just go and sit in business class. I'm getting some sleep. See you guys tomorrow, first day. Riding with a stunner. Thankfully, it's a recovery day. Quick ride out with the new bike. Just wanted to check things over, get used to it before going out with the guys from the team. I think the plan's a cafe ride. So far, everything feeling fantastic. Really nice being in Calpe again. This is a massively popular place for training camps. Not only because of the weather, as you can see, it's pretty much always sunny, but also Spanish drivers. They're super relaxed and they'll uh, sit behind groups of cyclists for ages. So it's very stress-free riding around here. As I said, great to be back here, even if it's only for two days. Just trying to get the legs working after a little bit of a break. And then we have a slightly bigger ride plan tomorrow. I'll try and find out from the guys what it's all about. Check out these trucks. Quite a big setup they've got here. Hugo, nice, nice to meet you, man. Where are we going today? Here we go, direction Benidorm. There's a nice coffee and then we do some extra on the way to test your legs. What? What have I signed up for? He told me it'll be easy. <laughs> you go easy on me, guys. You go you easy on me. do a test like us. What, a TT the whole way? Yeah, or 10 minutes or lactate test or something like that. We're doing it also. I'll be at my threshold on your wheel. <laughs> First spin out with the guys from Astana. Get the legs turning. Hopefully they take it easy on me. Yesterday they all had a time trial test. So, so hopefully it'll be nice and steady. Heading just down the coast to one of the best coffee shops here. It's funny out here in Calpe, you basically can't do a flat ride. Every direction is uphill. Do you don't know where you are? I like the sound of coffee. He said he knows the ride and now he's confused where we go. Yeah. The youngster. Did you choose this place because it matches your kit? <laughs> I think this is the famous for coffee shop. This is yeah, the only good can coffee. Meet all the riders here, so every time my rest day I came here. Best coffee in Spain, I heard. Connect with uh, Bluetooth. So you can, there is an application here for You can put uh, MP3 music, like a lot of MP3, so yeah. you don't need the phone. If you're pulling Peloton, also yeah. you can. Or for have you yeah. Which is the best coffee for increasing your FTP? This one. This one. <laughs> A nice steady one today, but I don't think I'm going to be so lucky tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow you can uh, do the test with us. Do the test? Yeah. Mate, I think riding four hours is going to be hard enough. What is the test? Ten minutes? Ten minutes, full gas, two times. So uh, you can have some fun. My full gas is a lot slower than your full gas. Full gas is full gas for everyone. You have the same feeling. <laughs> Thank you for that guys. No worries. Next time, no worries. can you take a normal bike because I get no draft behind you <laughs> on the TT bike. Going to make the best Italian coffee in the world. Espresso liscio. Huh? Espresso liscio. What's that? With the alcohol in it. With the alcohol. Yeah, I want the alcohol one. With the alcohol inside? Yeah. Okay. A stunner special. Thank you. Oh, it's so hot. It's so hot. It's so hot. <laughs> I hope he's gonna clean my bike. 
I thought uh, while we're here and have access to the whole team's bikes, we'd, um, we'd do a bit of a bike check. Check out what Astana are riding this year. So same frame set as mine. This is a Zero SLR, painted specifically for Astana. Like me, they're running Dura Ace Di2. I don't know if any riders are riding mechanical at all. They all seem to be plugged in in there. Karima wheels, Korima. Karima. These are full carbon tubulars and they train on tubulars as well. There's a bit of a mix of tyres on here. These ones are Wolfpack, which is a German company. The whole team are on Pro Logo saddles. This is a Scratch 2. There's a few different styles on the other bikes as well, but obviously this is fairly specific to the rider. You then got a custom zero bar. So this is different from the one on my bike. Mine's the Alabada, which is the slightly more aerodynamic but heavier version. This one's custom painted in team colours and they have a specific mounting system as well for uh, bike computers. Everyone on the team has tax bottle cages. There isn't any grip tape or anything on these. Someone was asking in the comments uh, why my bike doesn't have through axles. Well, it actually does. These are the Mavic speed releases. It's all the pluses of a normal through axle, but with a quicker wheel change. You can change the angle of the uh, lever like this. A few of the riders are running uh, little sprint buttons. This bike doesn't have that on, just uh, standard Dura shifters. And again, same disc setup as my bike. Best looking bike in the Pro Peloton? Maybe. Maybe yes. I read it on the internet. Someone said, you're biased mate. <laughs> Nearly every day here, you get a sunset like this. You can see why pro teams like it out here, right? It's a shame it's not exactly like this in summer though. You don't have this all year. It gets much, much hotter and full of British tourists, of course. In the winter though, cycling Mecca. I need to get to bed pretty quickly because tomorrow I've got four hours with the team and, uh, and race efforts. The video series that I'm actually making for Villia is gonna be on the Villia YouTube channel. So I'm gonna put a link to that down below if you wanna be notified when that video releases and the following videos through the year. Make sure you subscribe to their channel and obviously subscribe to this one too if you haven't already. Really cool to meet everybody from the team today. Also let us know in the comments if there's any questions you want me to ask any of the guys from the team, whether that's staff or riders. As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys tomorrow.